Hello, thanks for joining me. Let's take a look at a simple discovery in CA Performance Center. First you need to log into the administrative GUI, which is the system name, port 8181, and um, I'm logged in as admin, and we see that the system health is good. That means that my data sources are synchronized. The next thing we need to think about is our SNMP profiles. The SNMP profile contains the community string and the port information that will be used for discovery. Well, let's take a look at those. Administration, SNMP profiles. When you install, you get the default profile, and we'll take a look at that. And we see that it's set up for v1 and v2 and port 161, and it uses a community name of public. And I created another one called System Edge, and we'll look at that. And we see it's really virtually the same as the default one, but I'm using port 1691, which is the default port for System Edge agents, as I do have several of those in my environment. And then we see that there's another one here somebody created for another purpose, and that's perfectly fine. So now we're going to go to our data um, aggregator. And the data aggregator is the only data source I have on this system. So he's the one who will be discovering and managing my devices. And we'll go to discovery profiles. There is not a discovery profile by default. So I created one by hitting the new button. And I just called it generic. And we'll take a look at that. And the last time I used it, I discovered a address range by putting this this number in here and then in the last octet I put 1-255 and that range would allow me to discover the entire subnet the range is supported in any of the octets um, an example could be 13842 say 49 187 and then you could put a solid number here or continue with the range and that would discover six subnets for you um, as opposed to just one now there are a few other tabs here. We can look at the schedule tab and that allows you to schedule the discovery. Um, the reason for doing that would be if you had a dynamic network and you needed to make sure that new devices were picked up, you could run this every day or every week depending on um, your environment. Uh, this tab is, talks about the SNMP profiles. Now you have an option here to use a specific list or assign the SNMP profile of your choice. And in our case we have three profiles. And why would you want to use a specific one? Well, the way this works is by default, we're going to run down the list until we find one that works and then we'll go no further. But if we had two for system edge, say the default one I made, which has public and, and that's a read only string oh, and a second one, which has private, which is a read write string. Um, and I needed to use the read write string because I would be adding HTTP tests to the MIB for the system edge agent. Um, then I would either select that one as the specific one to use or I would move it to the top of the list so that it would be used first. Remember if it hit the one with public first it wouldn't go any further and so I wouldn't get the ability to write to the MIB. Uh, the next tab, oh, we want to shut that off. In, in my case we're just discovering a, a generic Windows agent so the default is what we're going to use and we'll just let it tumble through the list on its own. And then the advanced tab we see we can control the naming order we can tell it to exclude the host name and just use sysname or um, IP address and we can tell it whether or not to use ping and whether or not to create pingables and then we can save these settings as default for other profiles. In our case we're going to leave everything alone we're going to go back to the first tab and um, we're going to get rid of this address and we're going to do a single node discovery for our demonstration. So we'll add an address in here Check my typing, add it in there, and um, we'll save that profile. Now we've we've saved the profile, but we haven't run it, so we'll highlight it and we'll choose run, and then it'll ask to confirm. And this GUI does not auto refresh, so you need to hit the refresh button to see what's going on. And we see that it's running now, and it's about five percent complete. And it is a single node discovery, so it shouldn't take very long. And so we'll give it a moment and then hit refresh again. Give it just another moment. It shouldn't take long. Very good. So now we see it's ready. It's 100% complete. So we're going to highlight it again, and this time we'll go to history. We'll go to history. And we see that the last time it was run was just now, and that we found one new manageable device, which, which was our goal. So we'll say OK to that. And then we'll go one step further. We'll go up to monitor devices. Again, we're still under the data aggregator. 
and we'll go to all servers and there's the target that we were discovering so we were successful and there's the information about it um, so those are the basics of a simple discovery in CA Performance Center I hope it was helpful thank you very much for more detailed information about CA Performance Center, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning path.